With the world hanging on every word, leaders in charge of finding the missing 239 people aboard Flight 370 continue to have problems staying on the same page. In China, Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott makes the most encouraging statement yet. We have very much narrowed down the search area and we are very confident uh, that the signals that we are detecting are from the black box. But just a few hours later, the Australian chief search coordinator rolls back expectations, saying there has been no major breakthrough in the search for MH370. The seemingly mixed message is an ongoing problem in the now 35-day mystery that produces clues without conclusions and raises hopes without results like this statement from the Malaysian government on Monday. We continue to hope and pray for survivors. That was a full two weeks after all hope was officially lost. Families were bluntly informed by a text message, no survivors. Do you think the Malaysians are being as open and honest as they think? No, of course not. They hide so many things. They cannot explain even the most impossible things. They cannot explain it. So I think there must be something that was hiding. Blatant contradictions damage credibility. A week ago, Malaysian officials said the criminal investigation cleared the passengers. As we have said earlier, only the passengers has been cleared. But just yesterday, another about face. This time on Britain's Sky News, the Malaysian acting transportation manager says everyone on board remains under suspicion. There are cultural differences that there are times when we, we are lost in, in translation and we, we're learning through this process. And basically, I'm not saying that we, we, were, we must handle it perfectly. And yet, the simplest facts are subject to change. The last contact with Flight 370 once believed to be the co-pilot suspiciously saying, all right, good night, is now reported to be the pilot issuing a standard good night Malaysian 370. As the physical search presses on, the only certainty is there is still no way to determine how or why the flight disappeared. David Mattingly, CNN, Atlanta.